Welcome to one of the craziest videos on my channel. Probably not craziest, but one of the coolest. If you look behind me, I've been saving them for a good while of a, something very special to me. You know, In the heart. You already read the title, you already but probably saw the thumbnail. I don't know. This laptop still doing crap, and it's just like, ah, da, 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 da. It's, it's crazy. But, uh, we have our Nexus Pro. Yes, our, me, and you. We can share this. Me, you. We share. It is probably, or is, this is the best, I mean, just the best best one you can get off store shelves which means Cameron likey likey and Cameron also likey likey the look I'll open it in a second but so we'll read the back here it has an adjustable stock you can take off the stock you can replace the spring uh, tactical sight another tactical sight uh, muzzle brake safety lock ammo clip release lock trigger uh, and the cool thing is about this uh, actually, it has two ammunition sizes, so it has like average five, five, six, and it has like nine millimeter conversion. You know, it, it's cool. But I'll show you about that. And while we got a tactical grip, I think it's slam shot, and I'm not sure, but I I'll say it's slam shot, right? No, no. I'm not well, we'll have to see. I haven't even gone on the thing yet. I just saw a lot of videos about it, and I got really into it, so I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, hold up. We're gonna open this thing up. Nice film. Wee. I already seen it, but this is your first time seeing it on my channel, which is crazy. I can't believe I can say I have myself a Nexus Pro. That's honestly crazy, man. But yeah, it has all the cool stuff. Same thing in the back. I'm just going to go ahead and unpackage it, honestly. Okay, that has to be one of the most precise unpackaging I have done ever. Ever. I'm taking all the pieces. I'll show you all of them. Also, show you everything we got. Awesome. There's lipstick on my white tee. So we have out our rifle with nothing on it. Plain rifle. Boom. So here's a rifle. I I like to hold it like this, honestly. Like if it had a. Ch 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 I, I don't. I'm not really a fan of like four grips like this. I, I like this average. You, you know. I, I don't want to dry fire it, but I kind of want to. So we're going to do one one dry fire, that's it, promise. The spring is kind of, like, the back spring, it's, I don't know how I feel about it, but dry fire. Not a lot of recoil, which is a, a bad thing. I like a lot of recoil on these things, honestly. Yeah, I don't know, it's just me. I like the feel of just, you know. But uh, what comes with it is all of the goodies. All the goodies. So we're gonna go ahead and attach all these on. Just bring them here, bring them here. Okay. And we got a special goodie also. I'm gonna show you the end of the video. We got something really special. Bring this guy. Let's get it to top it off. It's gonna be good. Uh, first we have our muzzle brake, I suppose. Simply slide that on. Oh. You can twist this piece. Hold hold up, guys. You can twist this piece. I don't know why. It doesn't do anything, right? I guess not. I guess you can just twist it. So, slide that piece on. I don't. I don't want to be too rough with it. But woo, looks pretty good. Nice muzzle brake. We don't even have the full iron sight on. Okay, here's another piece of the iron sight. But we're, we're not gonna have this iron sight on. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Okay, iron sight goes on just like this. Well, plastic sight. I know, guys. I know. You don't have to tell me twice. Plastic side, plastic side, plastic side. Okay, it, it only goes on one. So it's simply on now. And, uh, I'm not sure how the sight honestly works. I haven't... I've never used a sight like this. I do not know how it works. I'm used to just, like, two and one. That's what I'm used to. So, I mean, you can still do that, but it's like... I don't know how I feel about the iron sights on this thing, but it's okay. It's cool. Honestly, I'm not mad. So, that's that. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's okay. But uh, that's the pieces. We got the muzzle brake and we got the rear iron sight. Now we're going to do one of the best looking parts of this thing. 
stuck. The stuck. And it has these. I forgot what these were called. But they, they were special. But I forgot. This is the mag release and stuff. To replace that spring, all you gotta do is unscrew this one screw piece. Unscrew that one screw. Take the spring out. Do the little thing. thing yeah, put the other spring. I don't know why I told you that, but just so you know, no stock looks pretty good, but now we got on the actual stock, and it's a, it's a good feeling stock, honestly, it's not bad, it's, it's almost perfect, honestly, I think this is a perfect rifle, honestly, perfect, mmm, so, so perfect, mmm, it's a crisp, ooh, put this thing on lock real quick, oh, this is so smooth, too. It has no like clack 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 clack. But yeah. The okay, I have one problem with this rifle, honestly. One problem. You know like this gritty texture, like like where it's like plastic, but it's like kinda bumpy and it sounds like shh, 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 shh. that, yeah. They have that on both of these magazines. So when you put it in, it makes this weird sound. And it aggravates me so much. So much, but this is the mag release piece. It's for the. <laughs> I don't think I'm, I'm gonna be using these often. I think I'm, I'm gonna use my banana mag. I don't think I'm gonna be using these often. I I'm sorry, it's just like the sound is just so annoying. Except this one. Th this one's fine, but that's the average size rounds. 5.56. Five, five, I, I wish it was like semi auto. Honestly, but you, but you got a shotgun it. Like, I, I wish it was sent me out of that. But simple mag release is just about perfect. All you gotta do is kick down here. Wait, right? Yeah. Kick down there and pull out. Does it pull out? Oh, it takes a small bit of force. Okay, I, I thought it was like a simple it'll just fall out. But it takes a small bit of force, not a lot. Um, we'll try the banana mag from the Fortnite scar. We'll try that. Ah. You can see I'm a very clumsy person, but I have it, you know. So. Okay, banana mag. See if it fits. Please, 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 please. Does it fit? Please, please, come on, come on. Yes, it fits. But it looks so weird. It looks funky, doesn't it? Oh, hold on, let me get this from like a far point of view. It looks really funky, right? Don't you think? And this is a 10 round mag. I think this is another... This is a 12 round. 10 round through 12 round. I'm, I'm probably gonna be using this. Just the sound, even feeling it is just like, oh... It's just bad, but that's the, I think that's the only problem I got with this so far is the the sound of the mag. Because this one, see, it's nice, smooth plastic, nothing wrong with it. And then there's grip. I know this, this is for, like, grip or extra texture or something, but, like, please. Next version of the Nexus Pro, please take that out. Please. Please. All I ask. And, um... Uh, I know they make foregrips for, for like, like you can take this off and it's more picatinny, picatinny all on top, it's just picatinny everywhere, it's just, so I know you can take this off, put like a commando foregrip, and just, that honestly be better, or if I just take the whole foregrip off, you know, I kind of want to just take the whole foregrip off, honestly, I, I mean, it might be a little bit harder to grip, but, I don't like this, I mean, it's okay, if it was stationary, okay, but now I have to, and it's just like, rah, and it's, it, for some reason, when, like, foregrips like this and I pull back, it, like, it increases recoil. You know, like, I, I have to, like, nah, 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 and it's just like, nah, 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 nah. and the foregrips, I, I can actually, like, keep it stationary on the stock instead of, like, nah, 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 you know what I'm saying? If you feel what I'm saying. But, uh, yeah. Let's see how this Mac OZ, see, I'm, I'm in a clamped area. So yeah, uh, simply take this magazine and slide it in here. Dang, I, I cannot see. There's just the sun is blinding me. But it's better for you guys to see, so that's all I care about. And then put this annoying mag. I might have to wear ear earbuds with this thing, honestly. But uh, that's the nine millimeter ammunition right there. Ooh. But that's the <laughs> muscle boy. Uh, yeah. Easy mag release, super simple. You can replace mags mid match. Well, socks mid match, but now we're gonna get into some attachments. See what attachments we can put on this thing. I have some sights. 
and I have some actual sights. So let's see how these work. Uh, it is not a Nerf gun, so there's no inch in strike attachment nozzle. Uh, but I have an optic. Where's my optic at? Is it in here? Oh yeah, it's in here. I have a um, um, part from the modulus, and it should fit on Picatinny, right? I think it fits on Picatinny. I mean, it might be a little slidey, but it should fit on Picatinny. But I really think it's gonna be slidey. Will it even fit on Picatinny? Hold up. Nope. I don't think it fits Picatinny. It's fine if it doesn't, because I have some more sights. I have a few of them. But. Nope. I mean, you could really clamp it on there, and it'd be stationary. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just going to be on there. Like, when it's on there, it takes some force to take that thing out. <sighs> it takes a lot of force. But the barrel... Barrel looks super good, super clean, super, super clean. I think this might be the best looking one this year. But uh, let's go with our Zoom. The piece that I am very happy to talk about. We have ourselves a snip rifle scope that we are going to add on our Picatinny because this takes Picatinny, so we can just put it on the Picatinny. Okay, okay. And we're going to remove this uh, back piece. We, can we put it on other places too? Oh yeah, we can just slide on the front if we want to. Hold up, I think you can actually just slide on the front. Hold up, hold on, hold on, hold on. And you can put this in the back. There's so much customization. Yeah, we can put that in the back. We can just re reverse the iron sight. I I'll show you in a second, but we can reverse that iron sight. We can just slap that in the back. I mean, I don't know why you do that, but you can. It's like, in and you can just slide it straight through too. And then you can slide on here and then you know, do a little race car track. But besides that, the site looks really clean, super nice, fits on Picatinny, this is also Picatinny, so, and it stops at the back of a site, so you can't push it in, really. Um, we're just gonna add this piece on. I don't think she like me, these poops wanna fight me. Slip that on. I know you can't see it, but, hold up. I'll put it to where you guys can see it. I don't know how this is gonna look, honestly. I don't know if it's gonna even look good, or... Shoot better. I know. I know this is really accurate. That's why I want to put this on. Cause I know it's super accurate, super precise precision. We're not gonna put it on all the way, but we're gonna put it on halfway. It's a whole lot heavier up top. I, I need to push this way farther because I can't be all the way up here. I need to push this like right, right here. I can't really get in zoom. But I, I mean, I can get in zoom from here. But like, I really should be out here. But uh, I think I'm going to leave this piece on, even though it's super heavy. Well, it's not really that heavy, but, you know, it, it makes a weight increase. Uh, recoil is probably not a thing with this gun anyway. Like any other Nerf gun, they don't really have any recoil. So that's probably not a problem for your back weight. Uh, not that I think, or not, not at least mine. I'm going to just slide it on all the way to the front, see how that works. Uh, perfect. Perfect radius from my eye to the scope. Like right here, but I think this is what I'm gonna run for any other Nerf battles I come into, and then my precious scar sadly down. But, 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 you remember that video I made with the big power stop thing with this thing? If you haven't, go check that out thing right there. Maybe I don't know, but this is gonna be my secondary, this is gonna be my primary, so you better watch out, okay. 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 So, I think we should get to shooting this in a different, uh, in a different video. Not this video, because I, I want to have a little bit of fun with this myself. But, um, uh, just wait till next video. We can definitely start shooting this thing out, you know? It's cool stuff, honestly. But, um, uh, so, remember, I'm using this site, using this stock, I'm using everything, everything that comes with it. I'm just probably going to use these mags. Probably. I'm not sure how I feel about that, though. It depends on what, what I'm really doing, because I know these shoot farther. The 9 mils somehow, they shoot farther. Even though it's a smaller bullet. Realistically, that might be. So that's good. Still. But, uh, yeah, this is kind of a different color, too, by the way, if you didn't notice. But 
yeah, that's kind of a review on it. I don't really know what else to say besides this is the nicest blaster of ever, probably. This is my, my, my baby now. This is my baby. So, nice stock, too. This stock is super aggressive. Super aggressive. That's what it takes right there. The stock, I'm, I might start running no stock, honestly, because I, I don't, I don't want to damage it. You know? Only if I'm going long range, I don't even need anything. All I need is a trigger and a bullet, and I can just shoot one time. Boom, boom, boom. But uh, shooting comes in another video, so we're not going to talk about that right now. We're just we're going over the review and me saying dumb stuff about it. I don't even know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Okay. So with that being said, i got to get this uh, sight stationary. Or something. I don't know. But, oh, um, I guess that's it for today's video, honestly. I don't know what else to say, really. But, uh, like, subscribe, definitely. You definitely gotta do that. If you haven't done that, I don't know what you're doing right now. You're watching this video and you're not subscribed. Uh, what's the point of watching the video if you're not subscribed? It doesn't make any sense. So, make sure you subscribe. Um, if, if you want one of these yourself, uh, go buy one and make sure to give me all the money you got from it somehow. I don't know how that's gonna work, but, uh, more videos coming with this soon, definitely in the future, definitely. But, uh, super nice blaster. Nexus Pro, powered by PTOZ, made in China. Uh, I'm going to tighten up all these screws a little bit. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to do any mods if I don't have the right mod, because I don't want to mess anything up. But, uh, super nice blaster. I, I just got to say, it's just, just insanely nice. The nicest one I have to my collection. And I have a pretty big collection. And that says something. You know, I'm very picky about my guns. So, that really says something. If, if this is the nicest one, that, that's going to say something. Let me shoot it like this. Yeah, man. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But, uh, that's that. Let's see the size comparison real quick, guys. Oh, I got to show you the, the bullets, too. But, size comparison. Ooh. Size comparison. Ooh. 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 I, I look cool with this thing. No, I sure do. Sure do. Sure do, buddy. Sure do. I, I can do a little quick mag release. Okay, I, I'm gonna do a quick little mag release. Okay? Okay. Let's see how fast. So, pew, 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 pew. Oh, hold up. I, I, I gotta get used to it. Hold up. Pew, 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 pew. Ah. Pew, 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 Oh, yeah, I, I, I'm not, not even doing this. But I also don't want to dry fire it, so. Uh, that's that. I don't know what else I can do to this, honestly, but show you guys the bullets and the amazing packaging. I'm go I'm gonna use this package forever. This is what I'm gonna use to package it up in. I'm just gonna store it in there. But uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know what else to say. You can you can kind of kind of click off the video. This is kind of the end. It's just for the real fans, you know that that want to stick to the end of the video. You know you gotta make sure to watch the whole video if you want to see you know, the full you know content. I, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm sorry. Even only like five views. <laughs> I won't talk about it, okay? I am underrated, okay? I am mega underrated. I have a bipod for a Picatinny. I don't know if I want to put that on, though. I have a bipod. Uh, I don't think there's no... Actually, I have some. I have something, guys. I have something. Oh, my gosh. Guys, I got a plan. I... So, you know how they have charms in uh, Warzone? I have myself a charm. That I could put on my precious, precious child. Right here. Chain link. Or I could put it like up front. Oh, boom. R right here. I know exactly how to do it too. But it's just like. It sounds messed up. And it's just like. I don't know. Or I could just attach it on the muzzle brake. Great idea. Or. I'm getting ideas. I can do it down here. And just. Oh, that's not bad, right? But, um. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. It's a great, great, great weapon. But it feels kind of cheap, but th that's just because it's plastic. But I'm going to tighten everything up. All, all, I, all I know is that this moves, and it does that on a every Nexus Pro, but it's insanely powerful. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and turn post notifications, and I'll see you in the next online multiplayer Gaming a YouTube. Uh, 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 uh. I don't even want to end the video.
it's just such a good video, right? You believe? You, you believe me? You believe me? Turn on my fan. Hold up, so turn on. Turn on my Xbox. Or... Ah, I'm not gonna play that for the whole day, but this gun is making a comeback soon. Shoot, shoot, oh shoot, 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 shoot. I am so so clumsy. Why? I I I'm never never this clumsy. Trust me. But uh, this is gonna make a comeback soon. Put some more attachments on that. I got a whole attachment set right here for it. But uh, yeah. Not really much to say in this video, but just putting everything back. Remember, you can still just click off the video. It's not really much else but me walking around talking about dumb crap and uh, doing dumb crap at the same time. So, uh, remember, the, the, I forgot to show you the bullets, but half length, full length. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Package. Package is pretty big. That's that. If you want to pause the video, read it all. Uh, it says, oh, okay, so it works with Nerf Standard Elite, it does, so, bye-bye. Uh,